If you have a bunch of skincare samples, kind of like this, or your skincare products are just like thrown on a table or a dresser or in a drawer somewhere like this. This is the video for you because we're gonna be talking about bougie on a budget storage solutions for your skincare and by extension your makeup as well. Although some of y'all try to act like, you know, makeup is a big bad word over here. Today I'm going to show you some of my own personal storage ideas and we're gonna go shopping to see what is out there. But when I say bougie on a budget, I mean things that are gonna look stylish that aren't going to cost you a bunch of money. So let go. So I put on something a little comfortable to <laughs> talk to you about my own skincare storage. Now I talk about skincare, makeup, you know, a bunch of things for a living. So I do own way more things than an average person really needs to own. But because I'm like constantly trying stuff and I'm like, ah, I opened it, why let it go to waste? Let me use it up. So that's what you're gonna see in here. It's like this light is giving me a glow. So my bathroom is pretty small. So I like to utilize as much built-in storage as possible. And then I built in my own. So I got this cabinet system here from Bed Bath & Beyond a couple of years ago. I don't think that they still sell it, but I will link to maybe some similar things. It's essentially an over the toilet storage cabinet and I um, fastened it to the wall. <laughs> it's been up here for a good maybe three years. So I think I did a pretty, pretty decent job with that. But this is where I keep a lot of my skincare items. And I have to let you know, like it's not always <laughs> neat in here, but what's great is that when it's not so neat, I can just close it and nobody has to know. But essentially, yes, this is what it looks like inside. Um, again, I have way more products in here than what I need. I use these glass and metal vanity storage things from Target. Like I said, we're gonna go to Target. I'll show you some more cool things that they have there. Um, but I essentially just keep my things there. Now, again, the average person is not gonna need this much product, but if you want to kind of keep things like simplified, I would kind of categorize things by item. So like my sunscreens are here, and then I have a lot of my like chemical exfoliants here, and then, you know, a couple of things that I use but I don't use very often. Things that I use most often are in my medicine cabinet. So ignore this thing here. This is just a little contraption that I have here like if I wanna do film videos in here on my phone so that's like a tripod kind of thingy. But are you gonna be, oh, okay, good, you can see inside. So yeah, a little bit more than what the average person needs. Again, I try things for videos and whatnot. Essentially, stuff that I use, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, some sunscreens, some uh, treatment products, some moisturizers. Uh, my vitamin C is up here. It's a lot of extra moisturizers in here. I did a moisturizer video and wound up liking a lot of them, so I kept them in my personal stash. Otherwise, I, you know, things that I open up that I test maybe once or twice, I wind up giving that to like friends and stuff and family. And then my cleansers are in the shower. You, you don't need to see all of that. <laughs> in case you were wondering about where I keep my makeup, it's in the other bathroom. Uh, but I want to get a new cabinet. I, I'm not feeling this one. It's like, ugh. plus I also need to do another purge. It's way too much makeup here. Not directly skincare related, but still bougie on a budget. If you like candles, which some people like to do when they do their skincare routine, I got this uh, lighter and snuffer set off of Amazon. I'll link it in the description box. Um, it's an electric lighter. It makes lighting the candles so much easier. I mean, I don't always get it every time. And then the snuffer is just like really cool. So you're not having to like accidentally get your wig or your locks or whatever in the candle and catch on fire and whatnot. The, you know, the snuff is real bougie and nice. And I'll link it in the description box. Now that I've given you the best that I've got, baby, let's go to Target and Ikea and see what else we can get for you. Mason jars. So, okay, mason jars are like overdone on Pinterest and whatnot, but I think they still have a nice place in your skincare storage, especially if you're storing things like cotton pads, cotton swabs, things of that nature, reusable pads. A uh, little towelette. Those are really great ways to utilize the mason jars and Target has a bunch of different shapes and sizes. When you're going in Target and you're shopping, don't just look in the storage section, look in the kitchen section everywhere because you can find really cute things like these containers that you can use for your skincare storage. 
These marble containers are amazing. You can put like your skincare tools or maybe makeup brushes in there. So keep your eyes peeled because you can find something really cute in the kitchen section that would still work in your bathroom. Like these would be great for cotton swabs as well. And these are just two bucks. Oh my God, baskets? Oh, baskets. I can find so many uses for baskets and Target has some really cute ones. If you're someone who likes to have like a big collection of sheet masks, you can throw some of them in a basket like this. This one's 20 bucks or even something like this. Uh, a lot of your, maybe like your face towels, your skincare tools, like if you're using maybe some skincare devices, those are things that you can store in here or even your hair tools and things like that. Like use your imagination. Utilizing the space inside of your shower is also a great idea, especially if you don't have a ton of room. The Target has a lot of these caddies that you can stick over the shower head or you can stick in the corner corner in your shower just so you have space to put things like your cleansers, your body products, and your hair products. Like I mentioned before, having built-in storage is bomb. So if you have an under the sink cabinet or a cabinet that you can put your products, that's amazing. But you still don't want them just like thrown in the shelf. So Target has these really cool organizers that you can put your products in and then just stick that inside the built-in storage. This is really cool for that drawer of shame where you just kind of have things thrown in there. What's great about it is that you can organize your products and you can still see what's what, but it looks a lot neater. Listen, I was having me a little field day in Target, you know, as we do. <laughs> there were so many vanity organizers that came in different colors and textures. So whatever your style is, I'm sure there's something there for you. Everything that I've been showing you that is linkable, I will link it in the description box so you can buy it online, pick up in store, do curbside, have it shipped to your house, you know, whatever's clever for you it'll be in the description box. So this is something I can't link below because you have to buy it in store. It's usually in like the $5 bin area, but I'm gonna take it home and show you something. So keep watching. And now we're off to Ikea to highlight a few things. A few things about Ikea definitely think outside the box. A total of zero of these items were found in the bathroom section. So keep your eyes peeled, browse the entire store, look in the kitchen section, look in the bedroom section, because you're gonna find these really cute and stylish yet inexpensive storage pieces that you can put your skincare and your other beauty items in. Back home and I wanted to show you two quick things. So one, remember that $5 Lazy Susan organizer thing? If you have products just like laying around on a dresser or something like that, put them in here. They're still out, but at least the products are more organized. You can twirl it around to get to what you need and it looks so much better. Now for these out of hand product samples. So I got these cute little baskets from Ikea. They come in, you know, you get all three in one, three different sizes. I like this size for these samples and you can stick them in there. You know where your samples are, you know where you can get them, but they're not all over the place and looking a hot ass mess. I may use the smallest one for earring backs, but then the biggest one I have these like floss things in it. Now, if the reason why you have so many skincare products is because you keep buying products like, oh, this one's gonna clear my dark spots. This is gonna be the sunscreen for me. Let me help you help yourself. Make sure you check out the hyperpigmentation series playlist, which I'm gonna put up here, along with the sunscreen for darker skin playlist. Items that were featured in this video where available will be linked in the description box. So make sure you check that out. Also, while you're in the description box, Make sure you follow me on social. The links will be all up in there and I'll see you fine folks in my next video. Bye guys.